Cherry Sprout. Those are puppies. <clears throat> then I've got Penbane in here, Datura in here. Um, oh, Poison Hemlock. And then a White Henbane. This is a Black Henbane. This is a White Henbane. <clears throat> all these little guys. But you're finally starting to sprout. These are all poppies. All of these are poppies. And all of these are detergent. So far, so good. They're uh, definitely liking the colder climate that I have in the bedroom versus the ridiculous 99% uh, humidity and 105 degree fucking temperature that was in the garage. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about these little guys. <clears throat> What's up, folks? So, uh, today I wanted to show you guys around the shop a little bit. And then, because uh, I know a lot of you um, on the YouTube channel don't follow my Instagram. Um, and I uh, figured I'd show you guys some of my artwork and uh, what my makeshift garage slash shop looks like for now until we uh, move. Um, I also started a Patreon page today. Um, we've got a lot of really cool membership deals. Um, so uh, I'll post a link in, at the end of this video in there for you guys to check out. Um, when we get settled and things start getting built and we get the Vey built out of the property, um, the highest membership on our Patreon is going to reserve you a spot to come to our first event out at the land, which uh, we will be doing kind of like a heathen, uh, you know, spiritual uh, retreat uh, with some different seminars and things like that going on over there. So it's a really awesome deal. And I think the highest, uh, I think that one's 15 a month. And um, everybody who signs up for the Patreon is going to help us build when we get to the property. So help us build our workshop, help us build all the different stuff, guest housing for events, things like that. So I really appreciate you guys' support. I know Rose will really appreciate you guys' support. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, getting that done and that first event is going to be super cool. I got a lot of good ideas going on. So let's get into it, man. Um, <clears throat> just going to give you guys a quick little rundown of some of the tools that I use um, and then some of the stuff I've got going on that I'm working a little stuff going on over here. This is posted up on the store. Uh, this guy's posted up on the store, which I really like this guy. This is actually made with a... Um, a metallic paint that has an actual bronze uh, metal flake inside of it. So, same thing with the King Death Ritual Mask. <clears throat> and then I just started building these. These are uh, these are smudge fans for your altar, uh, made out of uh, spinal bone from an elk. And I've got about three more of these coming out. Pretty excited about those. Those are cool. And then this guy. Right here, <clears throat> he's gonna get cut up into sections, probably about two, two and a half inch sections. He's gonna be turned into a resin uh, river table. <clears throat> Super cool piece, man. I'm really stoked that I found this guy. <clears throat> That's my horse. <clears throat> she hasn't gotten any love in a while, she needs to get some love. <clears throat> so, so here's some of the other things I got going on. So I've been uh, been working on some uh, ritual axes, which can be used for the same purpose as a as an athame. <clears throat> I got these bone shanks, which are all live on Etsy. This guy's sold to a buddy of mine out in uh, California. This guy right here is going to a very special group of people that have helped to uh, inspire my uh, personal spiritual journey, and. Uh, and a lot of other things for me. So I'm really excited to gift this to them, hopefully at the end of this year. <clears throat> oh, tools. So this, this is my uh, my Vader mask. I've been really thinking about with all this COVID stuff to start wearing this out in public and, uh, and see how many people respond. 
come in looking like the fucking CDC and shit. <clears throat> and then this is the basic uh, rotary uh, flex shaft that I use. Here, let me get in focus here. Um, this is from Harbor Freight. I think this was $59. A little Chicago electric flex shaft. <clears throat> It's all detachable. It's a little dirty. I need to clean her up. But uh, this has been a great, great tool. Total game changer for my work. This is what I was using prior. Is this bad boy, which is uh, pretty heavy in the wrist. It's a lot harder to uh, to engrave and, and use this thing. Hands get tired real quick. And then, uh, yeah, pretty sure you can figure out what the hell all the rest of the tools are for. Um, Oh, and then this guy. I'll be working on a design for him later uh, later this week. Hopefully get something really cool. I'm thinking about doing some uh, some poppies with some Norse knots wrapped around it. And this guy's huge. It's a water buffalo. Now that you guys have kind of seen around this uh, messy ass shop that I got going on over here, uh, let's get to work. So we made a little bit of a mistake the other day when I was mixing uh, the resin for this. Uh, I was trying to do a resin inlay on this bone shank and I didn't add enough hardener to it and so it's sticky and it didn't cure so we're gonna uh, we're gonna get on this wire wheel and try to get some of this stuff cleaned up so that I can make another mix and hopefully uh, get this thing sealed up and hardened and uh, ready to go so. <laughs> grinded a lot of that stuff off it's still a little sticky in some places so we're gonna take some mineral spirits <clears throat> we're gonna try to get the rest of the shit off pretty good so <clears throat> Starting to look pretty good for a rescue.
let this dry for a couple seconds. So this is what it looks like. Died. Guard. Sanded, cleaned up all that gummy, uh, all that nasty gummy resin that was on here. So we'll get mixed right. <clears throat> and now we're gonna mix up some more resin and do it right this time. And then we're gonna coat it. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. So uh, next step, we're gonna be mixing a, uh, a two-part epoxy and uh, for the for the athames and uh, the bone shanks. I like to strengthen them with a construction grade epoxy instead of uh, like a table pour or a casting epoxy. And uh, the one I prefer, there's a bunch of brands out there. Um, Loctite makes one. I know Gorilla Glue makes a two-part epoxy glue. And then um, and then this one, which is JB Will. And so this is what it looks like. It's a two-part epoxy. It smells really bad. So if you're gonna work with this stuff, make sure you got good ventilation, uh, open up a door, Turn on a fan, that's so why I got a fan over here. I honestly, with this beard, I really hate wearing my, my Darth Vader mask. Um, so, unless I'm carving, I don't really mess with the mask. Uh, just like, unless I'm gonna get kicked out of the store, I don't wear a fucking mask. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is gonna be the last step, and then we gotta let the shit dry for uh, 24 hours, and then I'll be putting this video out before the finished product is dry so keep an eye out for that next video that's coming because I will do an update on how this turned out so so we've already put just a small bit of the actual resin in here and now we're going to be adding the hardener and this is where I messed up last time I didn't put enough hardener so I think a little overkill on the hardener this time. The only problem is if I, which I've experienced this before, if I put too much of the hardener, and this is only with the construction grade epoxy, um, with the table pour and the ultra clear uh, casting epoxy that I use, this doesn't happen. But um, with this stuff, it does, and it gets really fucking hot, and it will harden in like five minutes, rock hard. We don't want that. So we're gonna to try to coat this as quick as we can. So I got a lot of harder in there. And then of course, uh, in the next video, when I give you guys an update, this will be um, ready to uh, do a light coat of sand and we will uh, polish it. And then that will be the finished product. And I'll also show you what the, uh, the process of making the leather sheath is main purpose of this video is to uh, show you guys that if you mess up with your resin, it can be corrected. Um, just to be completely honest with you, this was uh, all an experiment because I didn't know if it was going to be able to be corrected. <laughs> and uh, I thought that my project was fucked. So. And again, this stuff is super toxic. Do not be me, and uh, make sure to wear some gloves, because this stuff is pretty, pretty foul on your skin. Cool. Check it out. We're coated. We're going to let that bad boy rest and uh, dry out for a day. So that's it for today guys um, I hope that this video was helpful for you um, but yeah if you make a mistake you can't be corrected uh, it just uh, it's a lot of extra work so um, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, click the notification button so that way you can get noti uh, notified when our next video comes out and in the next video I will be doing a, um, an update on how that turned out after the sanding and polishing is done. Um, also, uh, make sure to check out the Patreon. Like I said, there's a lot of really good stuff um, for members. Um, the top membership is going to secure you a spot at our first event at the land. 
And then the other two memberships come with a lot of great stuff as well. So hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.